I'm at Dicker Precision Components in Hailsham on the south coast. This is a, a little bit of a story about Heimbuch work holding because uh, the guys here have embraced the Heimbuch collet chuck quick change technology. Chris, just tell us, before we look at what you've got now, how would you have before uh, put collets on the machine and taken collets off? Well, the, collet, the collets are held on um, by a, a, a face plate which is held on, that's held on by six screws. So every time you wanted to change the collet, you'd have to uh, pick your Allen key up, undo all the screws, and invariably you'd drop a screw or drop the Allen key, uh, take it all out, clean it out, and then reverse the process for, for putting the, the, you know, the next collet in. So how, how long would that have taken you to go from collet to collet, do you think, as an example? Um, possibly three minutes. And that's with an, without an Allen key drop? Without an Allen key drop or a... And I mean, the screws wear eventually, so you've got to go and get new screws. And this is kind of like the traditional way of doing it, but Heimbuch developed their quick change system, which we'll go over to the, uh, the new Belia machine that you've got and have a, a, a quick look at. So this then is a, this is a collet here, and this is the, the quick change clamping system, correct? Yes. yes. So just talk us through how, how this works and, and how much faster it is. Um, well, this is the, I'm not quite sure what you call it, the tool for um, taking the collets out. So it, insert that in there, pull the trigger, and that's it, it's ready to go in. So your collet is now ready, yeah. uh, you do the same to take it out yeah. of the chuck? Yeah, yeah, reverse process just to take it out. So you, you put, put your tool in there, click it, pull it out, and that's it. Uh, give it a quick wipe, get your next, next one ready, put it in, release the trigger, and it's in. And, and it's, get... probably, it's probably seconds five seconds at the most to change a collet from three minutes on the old way we used to do it. And I suppose with, with yourself having this Heimbuch system, you've got a production machine here. Any time that you spend, if you spend two minutes changing collets, is, is dead time in it, the machine's not cutting. Well, that's right. I mean, the only way a machine earns money is by making swarf. Um, so anything you can do to maximise the, the, you know, the running time is all to the good. What about the, like the concentricity or the, the, the accuracy, the, tur you know, the turning element of this? repeatability or the, the you know the, when you machine it um, I've not ever actually clocked it in um, and most of what we do is uh, bar that's going to be machined anyway um, but as far as I'm aware they run pretty true they you know, they're nice collets it's a nice nice setup it's a nice bit of kit and if you how many different bar sizes are you running so you just have to change if you if you're doing four or five different sizes you just change four or five different collets yeah that's right it's uh, we've got you know we're building up a stock of collets obviously when you start with a new machine you know you, you buy what you think you're going to need but this machine has opened up so many possibilities we're finding a that we're having to buy more and more collets uh, of all different sizes and once we have built up a stock of collets you know we're good to go so it's good for Dicker Precision, but good for Heimbrick as well? It is, yeah. yeah. I mean, anything that makes the company better. I mean, obviously Heimbrick like is buying their, their stuff. So, But anything that keeps us earning money is, is good. Brilliant. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.